What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I just recently did 12 fragrances that I'll never stop recommending and it was requested pretty, you know, pretty often after that that I do the clone version of it. So I've got 12 clone fragrances that I don't plan on ever stopping recommending because as long as they're available, I think they're good stuff worth checking out if you're looking to have a similar experience to these originals for a fraction of the cost. So let's talk about them. Stay tuned. Starting with one that's a little bit more of a twist than a direct clone, but you could tell it's going Creed Aventus. It's Armoff's Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum, no secret. This has been my favorite Armoff fragrance for a long time. This is my favorite affordable Aventus type twist. Uh, you get the slightly smoother, less sharp lemon from the original EDT Intense. Um, which is obviously the biggest departure from Aventus, but you still get all that fruitiness, smokiness, musk, you get a little bit of florals, you get sweetness. It's a great performer. It's a darker fragrance. And I think it smells fantastic. I've always been a fan of it. It's my favorite of the Club de Nuit Intense Man fragrances because they have several versions at this point. And it's one that I'll never stop saying is the one to check out if you're interested in anything from Armoff or a great twist and inspiration, if you will, on Creative Ventus. Again, that's Club de Nuit Intense Man, limited edition parfum. Now this one's a newer recommendation. I just got it recently and boy, it's a dead ringer for Strong With You Oud. It is from Paris Corner in the Pandora Sense line. This is Veteran Oud and Veteran Oud is 90, per 90 plus percent accurate. That's my way of saying as close as it's gonna get. So if you hear me saying 90 plus percent accurate on any of these, which is pretty much all of them, it's pretty spot on and this gives me that roasted chestnut that spicy woodsy slight leathery feel with that strong with you sweetness it's all here it's all here I did a side-by-side -side with strong with you oud and it's about as close as it's gonna get you want a similar experience easier to find fraction of the cost it's like a, a third or a quarter depending on where you find it like 50 mLs cost like three, almost four times what this 100 mL will cost you. And it's definitely worth checking out because it's a similar level of quality. I mean, we're talking about a designer Armani fragrance. It's not like it's super high level niche and this pretty much nails it. One that I'll plan on continuing to recommend is Veteran Oud from Pandora Sense. Some of you should have expected to see this one. And to this day, I've never tried the original. And honestly, I don't care to because Paris Corner, as a standalone fragrance, is just phenomenal. This is Care Pistachio. It's supposed to be Yum Pistachio Gelato. It smells like a little bit of that pistachio gelato, pistachio ice cream smell. You get a sweet, boozy rum smell, some bright spice from cinnamon. There's a mintiness from some geranium and there's a few other florals that blend in to give it this nice freshness dries into this whipped cream and cotton candy accord. It's a fluffy, playful, sweet, gourmandish type of fragrance, which normally isn't my thing, but this is fun. Lean's feminine, guys. Just know it's a fun, playful, sweet, candy-like fragrance. So you got to know what you're getting into because you're probably going to have to blind buy this one, but I love the way this one smells. Great performance, too. I'll continue to recommend this one to anybody that wants to listen. If you want a fun candy-like fragrance, you should absolutely check out Paris Corner's Care Pistachio. Now with this one, it's really difficult to tell a whole lot of difference between the original because it's a synthetic mid-level blue designer as well. This is from Fragrance World. This is F Le Parfum. I have recommended this many times because it's an extremely similar experience to Y Le Parfum. Y Le Parfum being my favorite fragrance in the Y line. This is a little bit spicier, just a little bit and a little bit creamier musk as it dries down. But overall, same thing. Bright aldehydes, fruity, citric, uh, nice and fresh, spicy, creamy, ginger, musky. It's all of those things from Wild Parfum are found here. I sprayed this one on my hand last night when I was gathering these fragrances. Out of all of them, this is the one I sprayed because this is, man, this is the bomb. I haven't wore the original in a long time because when I get in the mood, I wear this, which I haven't been wearing the Y DNA often as of late, but and this is a dead ringer for it. It really is, and it's around 30 bucks. And even to get a 60 ml of Wyla Parfum, you're gonna spend around 80 for a 60 ml. 
Which don't get me wrong, if you want the true original experience, you should go with the original. But I mean, for a third of that with more juice, it's pretty much the same thing. And it's Fragrance World's F Le Parfum. Now with this one, you gotta understand, because it's a higher oil concentration, it wears appropriately. So you lose a little bit of brightness at the top, but you gain some longevity and a little bit more of the base comes out. But if you like Versace Mano Fresh, but want a longer lasting version, Armoff Aura Fresh is the way to go for you. This is another one I sprayed in the air last night. Man, this is, this is so good. All time great scent profiles, Versace Mano Fresh. And they nailed it here, that sour star fruit, other citruses, musky, a little fresh and spicy, watery aquatic. Just a gorgeous scent profile. Again, you lose some of the brightness, some of that heavy, hefty projection in the opening, but I gain about two to three hours of longevity. I get around eight hours easily with this in longevity on my skin versus actual Versace Mano Fresh, which again, that's the trade-off. You lose some brightness, you gain some longevity. What do you want more, brighter and louder at the beginning? Do you want it to last longer on your skin? There's a use for both. And if you want the longer lasting, you should definitely check out Armoff's Aura Fresh. So this is pretty much 90 plus percent accurate as well. And what it's cloning is discontinued and very expensive from eBay sellers. This is Paris Corners Pandora Sense Milano Privé. This is cloning Paco Rabanne's One Million Privé. And they nailed it down. Sweet, ambery tobacco, cinnamon spice. It smells like autumn in a bottle. It's a fall scent through and through. <sighs> that spicy cinnamon. Man, this is so good. This is so good. I did a full review on this one not that long ago. Performance is kind of what and what. It's above average. I wouldn't quite call it a beast, but I would definitely put it in that very strong, very long lasting category. We're talking eight to 10 hours longevity. Not quite a beast, but approaching it. Uh, and pretty loud early on. First hour and a half, two hours, it is pretty loud. You heavy sprayers, it's everything's loud with you heavy sprayers. <laughs> you know, but for those of us that are on the moderate side, and fun fact about that, I do my sin of the day. Uh, shorts videos all the time and sometimes I'll do you know maybe five or six sprays seven sprays because I typically do you know four to seven depends on the strength of the fragrance really fresh stuff I'll dial it up beyond that but you can tell people who aren't into fragrances like me and you guys because if you're watching this you're in fragrances I get to, oh that's way too much you only need two sprays they have never seen curly fragrance before shout outs to Michelle because I, I get told that I spray too much and I'm a sissy sprayer in this community according to most so if you spray this one heavy man you're gonna have a ridiculous ci so keep that in mind uh that's the case with a few of these whereas like the previous one we talked about or a fresh yeah you can dial the sprays up on that one that's not quite as strong but man if you want one million privé on a budget they got you covered here with pandora sense milano privé one of the brightest and freshest fragrances i've ever smelled i love wearing this one out the shower this is LV Afternoon Swim in a Paris Corner bottle. This is North Stag Expressions Quattro. Big fan. Just like the color indicates, bright, juicy orange, clean and musky. On the synthetic side, sure, it doesn't smell like the most natural orange smell. Oh, but it's juicy, mouth-watering, and refreshing. Above average performance, nothing really strong, but for what it is, how bright and fresh, Actually, pretty good performance on my skin. Man, this is some good stuff. This is the one of the four in this collection that I reach for the most because, like I said, it's a very invigorating, refreshing scent. So after a good shower, I really like to gravitate towards this one. I recommend this one all the time because it's in my weekly rotations pretty often, and I'll continue to recommend it. Again, that's Paris Corners Nordstag Quattro. This fragrance still puts a smile on my face every time I smell it. It smells like Sprite, 7-Up, stuff like that. I get lemon-lime out of it. It is Paris Corner's Vibrant Vetiver Delight, it's similar to Bal de Freak from Byredo. And uh, just like this bottle indicates, it's a very lemon-lime type of smell. Even though it's not lime, it's bergamot, still smells kind of like that. Has a zest and vibrance to it, not really much spice. Fresh green, soft, woody feel from the vetiver. This is good, good, good stuff. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. It's good enough for me. I've smelled Bald the Freak many times. I don't have to have it. I am so okay with this. Puts a smile on my face. I love to wear it in the summertime. Summertime is rolling around the corner, and I will be spraying this one on a lot out the shower many evenings. And when I'm running errands and such, and really, really hot days, that's where this shines because it's just so uplifting and refreshing. I'll continue to recommend it to you guys. It's 
vibrant vetiver delight. Now this is like Zerzhov's Herbapura with a dry woody note. Uh, it's supposed to be a Cambodian oud, but I don't really get all that much sweetness. I believe, I remember Cambodian oud to be a bit sweeter, but here you get all the fruits and citruses of our Moff's Club de Nuit oud. You get all of which, what's great about Herbapura. Obviously the quality is not quite the same, but performance is really, really good. I, I wouldn't call this one a beast either. Maybe one click back. It gets pretty close to being a beast for me. It's a little powdery. It's sweet and fruity. Like I said, it's got this dry woodsy note. It doesn't smell like your typical oud note. So having oud in here and listed as Cambodian oud from what I remember, that might be the sweet facet to go with some of the citruses and fruits, but it's not super sweet. It's no funk whatsoever. It's more of a dry, almost pencil shaving like oud wood smell. It's actually really nice. It's a great twist. It is not one to one with something like Herbapura, but it does get relatively close. It's clear that that's the scent profile they were walking the path of. They kind of made it their own with a twist uh, with a few different nuances added to the mix. And I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I don't know how many people recommend this one, but I'm sure recommending it. And I will continue to do so. It's Clebed in Wheat Oud. So I have the original. And yes, if you want the original's experience, you need the original the quality is a little bit better, but as far as nailing down the scent profile, Paris Corner did nail the profile down for Baby Cat with Rifakat. This is really good stuff. Spicy, smoky, woodsy, vanillic. The pink pepper, black pepper combo really works well with the Olibanum resin, this frankincense. It's not too smoky, it's not too spicy, but there's a sensuality and, and just some serious attraction to this profile for me. And fortunately for me, my wife is a big fan of this scent profile as well. Again, Baby Cat's amazing. It's one of the best fragrances I've ever smelled. But it's hard to find and really expensive when you do find it. We're talking hundreds of dollars. You don't have to have it. Some people may have to have it. I was fortunate enough to be able to get my hands on it. Shout out to the Bishop Jared Miller for uh, blessing me and hooking me up with the bottle. Actually with a decant, then the bottle. So that was great. But if I would have never got around to getting Baby Cat, I would have been fine with this. Honest to God, I would have been fine with this because this continues to impress me. Every time I smell it from the very first time to just now when I sprayed it, this is an impressive clone. It really is. And having spent some a lot of time with the original now, it makes me appreciate and respect what they did here even more. I'll continue to recommend it. It's Paris Corners Emir Rifakat. If you're a fan of the powdery, waxy, lipstick-like iris of the Dior Homme line, there's kind of a throwback out there, like older formulas of Dior Homme Intense. It's called Camaro Homme Intense. It's not as sweet as modern formulas of Dior Homme Intense. It's more like the old like 07 style, where you get a little bit more musk leather and woods, uh, not just loads of vanilla. Still there, though. And... If you like that waxy, powdery smell, you're going to like this. Performance is fantastic. This is beastly on my skin. Whew, that waxy iris, man. I'm a sucker for iris, especially, believe it or not, the fantasy iris note, the not real iris, that waxy makeup bag smell. That's typically not natural iris, and that's what you can get here. Natural iris has more of an earthy smell to it. Uh, it's not crazy powdery, still powdery, but the crazy powdery stuff is the fantasy iris note, as it's known. And that stuff is addictive. To me, anyways, like I love the designer iris fragrances, even though a lot of them are pretty redundant to one another. The different nuances and twists, I'm just a sucker for them. And, and this is, you know, redundant, but not super redundant, because I have a 2019 bottle before they switched to Dior Homme Intense 2020 bottle style, which supposedly is the same formula. And uh, that's a much sweeter Dior Homme Intense. This is, like I said, there's more woodiness and musk to this one, a touch more leather. Not as intensely sweet, but all of that beautiful powdery iris. I'll continue to recommend this one because I think it's pretty special, to be completely honest. It's Camaro Homme Intense. Amouage Reflection Man is one of my favorites from Amouage. It's a very uh, classy floral fragrance for men and Cadlage Perfumes Shiaka. Nailed the profile. You get a little bit more yellow floral here with Lang Lang, but aside from that, that's the only thing I've ever come up with in difference. Uh, there's a quality difference here, a little bit of a drop off. I mean, we're talking Amouage versus Cadlage, so yeah, you'll you're gonna get a drop off in quality of oils, but as far as nailing the scent profile, it's 90 plus percent to me. Very accurate. Like I said, the only 
difference I've ever really noticed is you get a little bit more yellow floral out of this than what you get in the original, but that herbal green feel, the powdery iris, the woodiness, everything's here. Performance is fantastic on this one. It's good stuff if you ever wanted Reflection Man but don't want to spend Reflection Man money. Just get Shiaka. <sighs> just get Shiaka because it is that good. It is that good. If you want the original experience, you need the original. But if you want a close representation, whew, it's just hovering in the air right here. You're going to want to check this one out. And I'll continue to recommend it to everyone. It's Kudlaj Perfumes Shiaka. Well, that's the 12 that I have for you today and that I'll continue to recommend. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. Of these 12, what have you tried? Definitely let me know down below. I'll try to have links to everything in the description if you're interested in checking any of them out. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these 12 and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.